Dear audience, um, the topic of my lecture is the inspiring influence of uh, traditional for architecture uh, to contemporary architecture in Slovakia. I divided uh, my presentation to two parts. In the first half of my speech, I will speak about the folk tradition and folk architecture of Slovakia and its message for today. In the second half, I will show the importance of this motivational basis for today's architecture by giving good examples of the creative process inspired by folk architecture in my country. I will uh, tell you all my uh, historical name or the historical names of regions, towns and villages in my Hungarian mother tongue language. Uh, part one, uh, what nature and the vernacular architectural tradition mean for people today? Uh, nature which defines our existence, our natural environment in the most profound influence on us, determining almost every aspect of our lives. The land of our birth, imprinted on our conscious consciousness of our feeling, our dreams and our mentality. The landscape, the town or village where we were born, lives in us. And we compare it to every other place we visit during our lives. But we also take with us the experience we have had with people. The landscape of Slovakia have given the people who live there an extraordinary variety of natural endowments thanks to the northern Carpathians and their southern slopes and the wide plains. And the Slovaks, Hungarians, Ruthenians and Germans living here have used them to their ad advantage and in their architecture with extraordinary ingenuity thanks to their unique culture. The folk tradition and culture we know today has matured here in the Carpathian Basin over many centuries and this was no different in what is Slovakia now. In this region too, men living in harmony with nature has learned to make the, the best use of all its qualities and influences to shape and to benefit his own destiny. At the same time, he sought the good and the beautiful in everything that surrounded him and tried to make the surrounding he created into it. Throughout his Erodos work of the year and at times resting in it, he created more and more beautiful <coughs> manifestations of the workings of the, the human spirit of the soul. It was his desire to create his home, his unique living environment, his unique folk uh, constru const uh, costumes, his fairy tales, his folk songs, to express his own soul. Today we can only marvel at how this local folk culture has blended into the landscape. Uh, it titulized Cape, it's such a wonderful variation and has rippled across the Carpathian mountains and lowlands. Countries of Slovakia in, uh, in 1922. The main regional differences in the folk architecture of Slovakia can be outlined by the spatial distribution of the counties, 90s in 19 historical counties, according to the historical system of the Austro-Hungarian monarchy up to the 1920s. These boundaries have been historically been uh, shaped by the <coughs> geographic division of the count country, the ethnic composition of the population, the main economic centres, the territorial distribution of the large landed manorial system and other important factors. 
But did this administrative territorial organization of the state since that times has rapidly changed several times. Fork architecture in the regions. As the people of the various landscapes had to adopt a wide range of natural conditions, a great variety of settlement forms and buildings styles developed. Uh, the, uh, the, these pictures show the present day image of Lkolinets, Farkasfalva, village in its preserved and well kept form. Here we see the original Slovak village environment in its authentic form and built tradition that we have inherited. This village now, since the year 1993, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Here the main road uh, generally follows the course of the stream and thus the two row villages of these highlands were formed. The church, the parish, the elementary school, the notary's house, the large farmer's house and pots near them are built in the center of the village in well chosen locations. The small farmer's house, houses the day laborers' huts were built farther away. The other typical settlement pattern in this hilly country is that or chain or scattered settlements and dispersed settlements which corresponded to the personal way of life. Houses and farmers' houses in northern lands of Slovakia, they were largely built close to, the, to each other, taking into account the need to save a space to ensure the safety or property and the natural in, in, in interconnection connection of their inhabitants. The house, house, the carriage house, the barn, the cropier's shed, and the other farm buildings and structures were all located and constructed in a specific layout strictly according to the principle of pr uh, practicality. The necessities of life and effort to, uh, and la labor requirements to satisfy them all determined daily life, its every aspect, its means and its exact location. The interior layout of dwellings is basically tripartite with three or four rooms forming the division of space. For, uh, for example, front room, porch and kitchen, pantry or back room. The most important uh, interior element of each house was the heath and its part, the furnace. The furnace was uh, placed in the kitchen or in the back room. In some cases, the furnace was in the ro uh, front room, heated from the kitchen. In the northern mountainous landscapes of Slovakia, buildings were built almost exclusively of stone and wood, with little use of clay and limestone. The presence of stone and wood, clay and reeds and hay in nature on the southern plains was also a determining factor in the design of human dwellings. Because of this, uh, at southern plains they were mainly built or of clay, reeds, straw and wood. Open air museums of folk architecture. The most spectacular form of preservation of folk architecture as a cultur cultural heritage was the establishment of gradual development of open air museums of uh, folk architecture in 1960s and later. Here is a map uh, showing the present day location of the museums in the region. These museums are merely in the northern, eastern regions of the country that offer a glimpse of traditional Slovak village architecture integrated into natural environment of the landscape. But in the southern region of the country uh, till this time, 
uh, have not been created any open air museum of slope ar of architecture. What's more, several water mill constructions on the small Danube had been taken to pieces and transported to northern part of the land. A brief description of three outdoor museums, Skansens. The Natural Ethnographic Museum, you can see on these pictures, is located in the northernmost location of Slovakia, near the Polish border, under the castle of Stara Lubonia, or Lublo. This outdoor museum had been built with 25 uh, buildings presenting the folk architecture and traditional material culture of the Slovaks, Germans, Poles, and Jews who lived <coughs> side by side in peace in this region. We can see three traditional, in, uh, there are traditional interior and tools for everyday work. And except of this area, over the following decades, uh, however, parks of the folk architectural heritage of another regions have been created on their authentic sites. On the northern side of the western Tatras, in beautiful wooded valley of the Rohace mountains, on the outskirts of the village of Zuberets, Bulenfalu, the museum of the village of Orava has been created. This uh, skansen is visited uh, every year by several thousands of visitors. There you can study the traditional folk architecture of the area on more than 50 buildings. These marvelous creatures of manual skill and handiness shows us an endless creativity of carpenters, joiners, smiths, bricklayers, stonemasons, and other masters. In interiors, we can admire, admire the creativity of women <coughs> on their textiles, sewings, needle, needleworks, etc. There is also a ceramic workshop and a water mill uh, that we have inherited from the past. And finally, the largest skansen near Martin, Turot St. Marton, had been built the Museum of Slovak Village. Today, 145 buildings present the traditional rural architectural heritage of the regions of Orava, Harva, Kisuca, Kisuca, Lipto, Lipto, and Turiec Turot regions. This show of folkloristic tradition create, creates a colorful space put to the uh, natural environment. There are, uh, we can uh, ramble, for example, a wealthy peasant's home, the house with, with its rooms, his barnyard, and all farm buildings in it. We can see a row of farmers' houses. In these houses uh, and in the open air, folklore days are held throughout the summer and in other seasons. Outdoors, uh, there are uh, uh, demonstrations of agricultural work, while inside, children and adults can try their hand and weaving, spinning, uh, wood carving, wool processing, embroidery, corn husking, and so on. The Every October, in this wide meadow, folk art fairs are held on Mikhail days with for folk dance performances. Also, we can have a look of a typical local wooden construction of church built in some of these regions. We can admire it, its uh, decoration, sculptures and paintings inside. Next, we can have a walk through the large area full of bu uh, old buildings, the memories of past two centuries. We can sit down in a desk in a classroom of a local elementary school, breathe its original air and see demonstration accessories, maps, stuffed birds and other animals. 
Fork architecture in the southern rural areas of Slovakia. Mostly Hungarian, Hungarian people live in, the, in these regions for hundreds of years. The most important uh, monuments of folk archite architecture are protected and uh, maintained locally by the state system of monument protection. But there are also example of examples of local municipalities, local non-profit associations, cultural foundations from Hungary, and even private individuals undertaking this task. This picture shows folklore museum in the northernmost Hungarian-speaking settlement of the Carpathian Basin, Carpat Medence, northeast of Nitra, Nitra, in the under Zobor mountain, Zoboralia region, Kolinyani, Kolon, and Pohranice, Pograny, and also shows national dresses of women. The two, uh, the, the west from eastern big city of Kosice, Kosha, in the Gemer, Gemer region, there are several examples of built outdoor museums, nice uh, village houses like this in Jablonica, Jablonca. It was restored and now is kept by local government together with non-profit organizations under the control of the state system of monument protection. With its typical porch or portico, on the alongside of the house, uh, which with rich carvings, is registered in the list of Hungarian national cultural heritage. In the southwest of uh, Slovakia, in territory of Matyusföld, uh, this label is only in Hungarian language, there is the folklore museum of country house of the village of Matuskovo, Takson, with its typical local thatched roof. Its interior shows us the style of life of the farmer's family on the beginning of the 20th century. We can see there are also beautiful handmade textiles, bedclothes and tablecloths and other crafts tools for the daily use. Uh, and farther east, uh, there is a country house of Velke Lóce, Nagylót, this house was completely restored by a private man together with his friends and sponsors and uh, now is kept by the local municipality. The beautifully reconstructed clay house represents a unique example of traditional folk architecture of Požitava, Požitvamente region, functions as a small private museum bringing visitors close to the way of life in the old times. Uh, the house, surrounded by a farm yard together with its farm buildings, dates back to the turn of the 19th and 20th century and is furnished with traditional period furniture and accessories. In addition to the charming loving rooms, kitchen, pit and other rooms, the visitor will see traditional working tools, ceramics and folk embroidery <coughs> on display. In addition to tourist tours, the house is also used for various cultural events, folklore dancing, performances and fairs of handmade personal articles. Farther south to the northwest of Comarno, Comarom, is a wet countryside full of lakes and reeds. These lakes and reeds defended people living here at the beginning of the 13th century against crusade of Tatra, Tatars and even during the 16th and 17th century against the Turkish predatory expeditions. Here we can visit a typical lakeside country house of Martoce, Martos. The house had been built at the end of the 19th century and to the end of the 60s of last century almost collapsed. The local government bought it in 1975 and renovated it step by step lasting several years. 
This folklore museum is now registered as a national monument of culture. Here is inside an exposition of objects of all typical folkloristic handmade cons consumer articles and sewings. What to say to the end of this part? Folklore is not part of our lives. We are bound to it, uh, to it by nostalgic memories from our childhood and stories told by our parents. Yet the high, the high numbers of visitors of open air museums of folk architecture show that new generations are interest, interested in and uh, waiting for know more about the way of life of their grandparents and great grandparents. However, active preservation of traditions is no longer part of the li if their lives, as the rush of the life no longer allows it. And unfortunately, the use of traditional building methods in the con construction of new homes is almost non-existent. Part two, fork architecture as an inspiration for new architecture a presentation of good examples. The main current stream of architecture today is the international globalist concept in Slovakia. Therefore, the vernacular architectural language is rarely mentioned as an inspiration for today's generations of architects. Even more rarely is this architecture followed in architectural thinking and even in actual conceptual and designing work. The rebirth of tradition. However, as I, as I mentioned, there is a very few builders who want to live in the open countryside in a traditional family house, following the example of their grandparents and are turning their sites to examples of vernacular architecture and convert them to new shape, like this uh, design. A significant number of the houses built in the traditional style in the villages of the north, northern Slovakia were based on the designers, designs of the architect Igor Krepela. As an example of his realized houses that uh, this picture show, is this one of uh, his completed works. With his decades of research and <coughs> documentation of old houses, he is one of the most knowledgeable experts in the art of woodworking and traditional building methods. His architecture is rooted in tradition, but following a new design concept according to requirements of present lifestyle. On his first example, sensitive and, and good in integration of the house into its surroundings and a res restrained architectural solution uh, are the main characteristics of his, this work. Reflections and traditional vernacular architecture in contemporary modern architecture in Slovakia. Uh, you can see uh, there on drawings, uh, one drawing from the design of each house, which will I show. Uh, reflections on traditional vernacular architecture in contemporary modern architecture in Slovakia. Uh, you can see there one drawing uh, of, of uh, uh, authors. Uh, Andrea Ambrovicova, Mikolajova, Juraj Mikolaj, uh, Jana Machova, and Radoslav Kurz, who have built a new country house in a small village in Zahorje, Hechhat, uh, not, uh, not far away from Bratislava Pozhon. Here, the traditional house and barn elements are joined by the equally traditional element of a side corridor or porch to bridge the living and economic functions. The tools of modern architecture are used with the use of metal, wood, and glass, but the form, the composition, 
follows the pattern of the traditional rural building concept. The gentle restrained interior uh, design follow, as follows the clean, almost puritanical character of the exterior. The third example is uh, the conversion of extension of a dispidated, dispilated old farm building in farmers' sick, a water mill into a home for two young families, the work of architects René Dlesk, Tamala Korazikova, Tomasz Ozisek and Jan Madura. The complex is located in the village of Opatova near Trenčín. Trenčín. Here is in, ad in additional addition to the living spaces, there is also space for hobbies and sports activities. In context, contrast to the fragments of the old buildings which have been rebuilt in a rustic style, new cubes with a complex geometry and the light effect are build, being built. These are all fully constructed on, fu on wood and timber framing. In the midst of the part of the old mill that have been preserved and beautifully restored, I would like uh, to mention the wooden grain milling shed upstairs and the stone flower store in the basement. The fourth example is the construction of an old barn to a family house in the village of Velichna, Velichna, which could also be called a carriage shed. Since the original construction structure was not suitable to support the structure of a new two-story high family house, <coughs> the uh, architects Eriska Turanova and Margareta Shuvatova left it in its original state, leaving its old patina almost intact and built the new structure of the family home into the interior of the structure. They did not think about new super and expensive solutions that would have contrast constructed, contrasted with the interior of the old barn, but used almost conservative solutions as a continuum of the life of the building. The necessary storage and technical rooms were housed in the long, longer ground floor extension, also with patinated wood paneling, uh, which connects the new family house home with an older building. The setting of the house excused and shows us peace and tranquility. The fifth house in the row that I'd like to show is built in Vainori village near Bratislava, Pozhon. Its massing cube follows uh, that of the local farmhouse, but its use of materials is based on new modern materials and structures in addition to the traditional burnt brick and wood. Its main strengths it is its clear, at first sight, interior layout which follows the triple interior division almost in the manner of traditional farmhouses. The aim of the designers was to fully combine and bind the exterior and the interior of this house uh, which they attached, achieved by creativity uh, uh, which they uh, achieved by uh, create, creating a large part of the courtyard facade throughout large expanses, window glass, uh, functioning as a permanent visual and physical contact between the resist residents and the landscaped uh, courtyard of the house. The rooms are also designed in such a way that the outdoor space is seen as an integral part of the interior space of the house. The last sixth example is the extension of architect Pavel Panyak's own weekend house by his own new studio in Chachice, Chaite, 
which won the highest architectural prize in 1921. The traditional village, uh, house of the uh, retired director of, of the former brickworks, was designed by the architect as a log logical continuation of the house block along the longitudinal axis of perpendicular to the street front. The addition consists of a single single roof, single room, yet it is monumental in this scale, while at the same time as the architect's intellectual workshop, it has an intimate, homely feeling. Since the house was originally built on the edge of the abandoned former brickworks, the architect has made his feature of the site felt by designing the gable roof structure of the studio sailing in a way that was widely used at uh, the beginning of the last century, mainly with a saddle brick vault between steel starports. In this way, he expressed, expressed his response, respect, and uh, commitment to the tradition of the place. And now, list of sources and uh, summary and historical review. The effects <coughs> of um, misleading influence of the authorities during whole times of socialist era, notably to build only modern Alliance cube homes in villages of Slovakia is, are still being today. Since uh, that of the early years of 1990s of the free democratic state, people in the countryside too began voluntarily and, old and uh, of their own free will to imit intimate, imitate the building pattern of other countries and even continents without criticism. Bungalows imitating ground floor, floor American large farmhouses and the unpatterned, unmodeled, downsized relatives on Austrian and Bavarian Alpine houses were built in every uh, regions of Slovakia, on the uh, terraced streets of hilly countries, and also in the villages of the western and eastern plains. The saddest thing is this pro in these processes that the architectural profession has not been able to act to stop this process because it has not been able to establish a new relationship uh, with the new state structures. And vice versa, the political system has not been able to implement proper and suitable new architectural quality standards in the process of law making. Uh, let's hope that this will soon change after mm, that Parliament last year approved the new Building Act, which sets uh, much higher standards for the quality of work of building authorities and that aims to reach a higher quality of architecture too. So thanks uh, to uh, uh, you and uh, to this place, uh, I, I will finish my, my speech. Thank you.